Hi, welcome to Juice Bar. Today we're gonna mix a cable car. So the cable car is a variation on the sidecar created by Tony Abugani in 1996 in San Francisco. His bar was on the top of an hotel and right next to a cable car. That's where the name comes from. I chose this cocktail today because it features spice rum and I just acquired this Blue Rabbit Spice Rum. It's made here in Tokyo. I visited the distillery just a few days ago where Mark works. He's a, a Scotsman which I just met at Barco Pain here in Tokyo. He's really friendly. He was nice enough to give us a tour of his distillery which is micro it's really small it's one room big but it makes a lot of good stuff in there including the spice rum it gets uh, molasses and cocktail the brown sugar from okinawa if i meant it, it adds some spices including some vanilla some orange you can clearly tell those are there when he distilled it and then he ages it in steel for about six months by putting some japanese uh, state wood he char himself to give this nice color to the spice rum. It has some sugar added to it, but not much because apparently, as per regulation, rum in Japan cannot have more than two grams per liter of sugar added to it. So it's way less than some comparable products from other countries. And I found it quite tasty. So enough talking, let's get down to mixing. Let's start by squeezing some lemon juice. We are going to need 30 milliliters of this stuff. I have a nice big Japanese lemon. And there you go, 30 milliliter or an ounce of lemon juice. Then we go with some egg white. You know what, I'm going to separate it. And today I'm gonna save the red instead of devouring it right away because I'm making a frittata tonight with spinach and onion. Then we're gonna need some uh, simple syrup, rich two to one. And uh, guess what? This one has one part of cocktail in it, so it should match perfectly our rum. I mean, this is one part of cocktail, one part of white sugar, and one part of water, which make two parts of sugar to one part of water. It's the usual one I use. It gives a darker color to your cocktail. If you don't mind that, this is just perfect because it's freaking delicious. Then we're gonna need 22.5 milliliter or three quarter of an ounce of dry curacao. and then 45 milliliter of our spiced rum. Probably you can mix this with a normal rum, just you might need to adjust the contents sugar-wise and probably you also need, it smells pretty good, uh, you also need to adjust, uh, maybe add some vanilla bitter or something like that to compensate for the lack of that in a normal rum. 45 milliliters of our spice rum. Let's give this a first a dry shake. So we add ice. Then we're going to add some ice, one more shake, let's prepare our chill coop, what I'm not going to do is put a side of a cinnamon sugar around the glass because I really hate that. I'm sorry. Uh, I try 
to taste and try everything in the recipes I make but I really cannot take a border of a glass of the sugar it's, it's not gonna work for me so let's pour this and what I'm gonna do instead I'm just gonna grate some cinnamon over the cocktail like this so no added sugar and actually I prefer it also as presentation is less messy and then we finish by pressing a round medallion of orange that then we are gonna pause here on the center of the cocktail and there you go a cable car cheers yeah I like the smell of cinnamon on top this is a delicious treat just a tiny bit light for me everything else is perfect I like that it's not too sweet, probably because, uh, as I said, this spice rum is not the sweetest. It's sweet, it's nice, it's mellow, it's round, but it's not overly sweet. And that makes the 10 ml of 2 to 1 simple syrup essential, also because we have a good amount of uh, lemon juice at 30 ml. So this cocktail is perfectly balanced. I just wish he had a tiny bit more alcohol. But like this is such a nice easy sipper. It's gonna go down in uh, just a couple of minutes. And the cinnamon on top, yeah, it works fine. I would do like this, not the the border, the sugar, and then it's, it's your mouth who's gonna be like all sugary. Nah, that's not my thing. This is better. And uh, the foam of the egg white, I would say perfect sometimes depending on the cocktail the amount of uh, acidity or alcohol in it the foam might not develop well here came out nice and 100 percent correct on first try and nothing else to say this is this is a treat let me have one more sip it's creamy and velvety but fresh because of the um, nice amount of lemon juice it's a really great balanced cocktail that I will have a hard time figuring out who is not gonna like this because it's not too strong nice complement of flavor vanilla comes up cinnamon orange it's just really really nice so if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe comment down below share with anybody you like and don't like shake yourself a spice rum cocktail and hopefully I will see you next time cheers So I will say cable car is not my favorite mean of transportation, just but when I was little I saw one of those disaster movies from the 70s and uh, you know they had a lot with airplanes and stuff but this particular one was about a tragedy on a cable car and it just remain impressed with me forever and uh, I bet cable cars are pretty safe but I don't know it's just terrifying sometimes when you see those movies which I don't really don't know why in the 70s 80 people were so obsessed with this uh, disaster movie the only good thing they ever did is spawn airplane with an exclamation point one of the best movies of all time it was the first I think uh, Zucker Zucker and uh, Abrams movie that received wide distribution and it was just like I mean, we had a Mel Brooks movie like uh, Young Frankenstein, an over masterpiece, but it was a different kind of uh, satire. It was uh, like eating you on the head really fast with uh, silly jokes and the perfect straight face of Leslie Nielsen that then, 
you're gonna have also in the Naked Gun series, which also was really funny. But my favorite of all time in that series will be Top Secret, where the straight guy is Val Kilmer, and I, the Top Secret is like, oh my god. Hot Shots Part 2 is also pretty good. Yeah, but Top Secret is top. One of the top movies of all time for me. It's so freaking funny. Well, just search it out. It's useless for me to reenact some of the gags. But you know, there is the pizza one. There is the... Just like... Silly... The... Pigeon statue. And the man the fly over... <laughs> and the Blue Lagoon spoof. I don't know, I can go on all day, La Resistance, and just an example, just a silly one. There's a guy escaping from prison and he's digging an escape route with a tiny spoon. And then they just show me inside and it's a full-fledged four lanes tunnel with lightning and everything. And it's just like silly gag, but it works so well. And uh, I don't know, love it. Top Secret. Cable cars, not so much.